So this is Toyota and solid state batteries, which, you know, they've been talking a big game for, I'd say probably about the last two or three years at least. At, at least they seem to be the manufacturer yeah. that is in my news feed anyway, comes up the most for mm -hmm. solid state solid battery state. development yeah. is Toyota. They get this, they are targeting a 40 year lifespan for their solid state batteries. So pretty on brand for Toyota because they're known uh, for going the distance. So, but I mean, I'm kind of wondering, is this even necessary? Uh, as somebody that buys cars and runs them into the ground over the course of 20 something like, years. Yes. yes, yes, this is necessary. The thing that impressed me here was I read the headline 40 year lifespan and I was like, yeah, 40 year. And what's the battery? Like what's the capacity on that at 40 mm -hmm. years? Because everything degrades. Mm -hmm. This, the crazy thing, is they're saying 90% capacity after 40 years. I think their standard now is 90% after like 10 or 15 10 years, or something. something like that. So this is a massive, massive jump in that. And I really mm -hmm. like that. They should go just about as far as when you bought it. Now, I mean, I know physics and science and that... It's never going to happen. Like batteries are always yeah. going to degrade. That is a, the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm. But I like this. And I've said this many times. Like I'll make fun of Toyota all day long. I think Toyota is going to deliver. Yeah. I think Toyota has the capacity to win if they really, really well, put I mean, the effort in. I mean, they played it conservative and a lot of people, you know, I'd say, you know, the peak EV hype cycle is probably around 2018, 2019. And everyone was like, oh, Toyota's dragging their feet. They're going to lose, you know. Chinese are just going to steamroll them and they're going to, you know, they're, they're going to be bankrupt in two years. It's like, mm -hmm. well, that didn't happen. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think they've been very slow and steady and methodical, you know, with their EV development. 